Spike Lee's coming strong once again. His new movie, He Got Game, stars Milwaukee Bucks' Ray Allen. Spike made a decision early on to use a real ball player, and I think that was a good idea. You know, so many movies you see, the, the, when it gets to the basketball scene, it just looks terrible. My character's name is Jesus Shuttlesworth. Jesus. 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 The world's greatest. He's, he's the number one high school basketball player in the country. You know, he's climbing out of the pot, and everybody's trying, trying to latch on to him. Everybody wants a piece of the pie. Everybody wants a piece of Jesus. You know, his relatives, he has the agents. I mean, he has the college coaches. I beat around the bush. We love you. It's $10,000. I don't need that money, Coach. You can look like Buddy Hackett and drive down the street with this and have 40 girls chasing you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Ray wanted to do this part very badly and does not want to be just a jock on the screen just when he wants to give in the performance. I ain't no baby no more. All right, all right. But Why I... in the hell did you name me Jesus anyway? What type of name is that? It's a biblical name. No kidding. Action! And there was so much like what I went through when I was in high school. I mean, it was almost like I didn't know what acting was, but all I had to do was sit back and just think about it, and I can close my eyes and say all this stuff without, without memorizing it, because it was, it was me. What is game? Who got game? Where's the game in life? Behind the game, behind the game. I got game. Public Enemy was the A on his list. You know, we say, yeah, we can pull this off. It might feel good. It might sound a little something. But f the game if it ain't saying nothing. Spike Lee, who's a basketball aficionado, felt that he could tell a story about basketball, but really a story behind basketball. Spike's creativity definitely came out shining on this one. and and. You'd be a fool to say that you couldn't relate to something in the play. What is game? Who got game? Where's the game in life? Behind the game, behind the game. I got game. She got game. We got game. They got game. He got game. You know, you have to look at the flick a few times, read the script, extract the soul of the characters, and try to come up with themes, music and lyrical-wise, that seamlessly go together and will never, ever come apart. We wrote it in two months and executed in three. So every, you know, the shot clock was ticking. And this will be the most important decision in your life. Don't blow it. Knicks fan, b-ball fan, you got passion for this game, don't you, yo? I got passion, man. You know, being a, a Knicks fan for so long, I might not have Spike Lee tickets and courtside or whatever, but you know, I think I'll be a Knicks fan till I die. I'm the type of guy that if my team don't win, I'll go for a team and chuck it all in and say, Utah. <laughs> I will do that. I'm the type of person, if the, if the Knicks don't win, I'm like, yo, Boston in it, I'll go for them. In part two, we'll bring you that Eastern clash between New York and Indiana. But first, we've got some action from the...